So in this video we are going to discuss about the electromagnetic wave propagation and before directly going to the topic in the previous video we concluded the all the Maxwell's equations and that is this is in the point form or differential form these four set of equations and these equations in the integral form so if you clearly observe we derived all the four equations in both the forms in our previous videos and you, you can relate these two see by applying the divergence theorem for this you we can convert the surface integral into the volume integral by replacing d bar with del dot d so if you remember either any set of four equations you can easily obtain the other set of four equations so if you see you can relate these two forms and there is no necessary to remember all the eight equations if you if you remember any set of four equations then you can easily obtain the other set of equations if you are well good with the two theorems that I explained that is strokes theorem and the divergence theorem now in this video we are going to discuss how the electromagnetic wave will propagate in different conditions the different conditions I mean what to say is if it is in free space this is our first condition if it is in, in a lossless dielectrics or a lossy dielectrics and last but not least that is a good conductors how the electromagnetic wave will propagate in this set of conditions or in these mediums we can simply say now if you clearly observe these two equations we will use in major and see these are called as the coupled equations because in the left hand side part we have the equation in the form of electric field whereas in the right hand side part we have in the form of magnetic field so since both left hand side part and the right hand side part are not of same these equations are called as coupled equation so we will apply certain mathematical manipulations and we will decouple the equations into form of electric field in the left hand side part and the electric field in the right hand side part similarly magnetic field in the left hand side part and the magnetic field in the right hand side part so before going to that essentially i want to give the conditions how we will substitute in the equation to get all the four cases for a free space since it is a free space the conductivity of the medium is zero and its permittivity epsilon equal to epsilon naught and this permeability mu equal to mu naught for a lossless dielectrics it means you can ideally say this lossless dielectrics as a perfect dielectric or a good dielectric and whereas the conductivity of a dielectric is zero and the permittivity will be epsilon naught into epsilon r that is the permittivity of the dielectric into the permittivity of free space and the permeability equal to mu naught into mu r whereas the lossy dielectrics are not a perfect dielectrics but they are similar or almost equal to the lossless dielectrics but they will have a small losses therefore the conductivity will not be completely zero it will be not equal to zero and epsilon equal to epsilon r into epsilon naught mu equal to mu r into mu naught these two cases will remain same for both but the conductivity will not be zero in this case whereas for a good conductor as we all know that it is approximately equal to infinity and epsilon equal to epsilon naught mu equal to mu r into mu naught so and one more two sufficient conditions if we discuss here for a good conductors the conductivity will be much greater than omega epsilon how we will how we obtain this i will explain in the future upcoming videos and for this the conductivity will be much less than omega epsilon naught so with these four cases and these four conditions we can essentially 
get into the video and you can solve all the equations before going to all these cases and solving for attenuation constant and phase constant first we have to decouple the coupled equations means we have to get the equations into either electric field or either magnetic field to get this we can easily obtain that by applying a vector properties of vectors simply by crossing this equation by doing del cross operator to this equation or this equation and substituting the other relevant equation we can get the decoupled equations if not i will solve here for you see we have a del cross e equal to minus do b bar by do t as i already mentioned if you want to write in the phasor form or in the harmonic form do by do t will be replaced with j omega and this i can write as j omega and b bar can be written as mu h bar so we obtain del cross e in the form of a phasor representation now i am crossing this with i am applying a del cross of del cross e bar which is equal to as since these are constants i can write them apart minus j omega mu into del cross h now if you clearly see i can substitute del cross h equal to j plus do d by do t not directly substituting this but i will write this equation in also in the phasor form and i will substitute here i can write del cross h as j bar plus do d bar by do t where j equal to sigma into e bar plus do by do t can be replaced with j omega and d can be written as epsilon into e bar so i can take e bar common so sigma plus j omega epsilon into e bar you can substitute this equation here and minus gamma now from the properties of vector if it is in the form of del cross of del cross some vector v bar then i can write it as a gradient of del dot v bar minus a laplacian vector of that vector it is del square v from this property of vector you can solve this left hand side part of the equation simply it will become a gradient of del dot e minus del square of e which is equal to if we substitute similarly in the right hand side part it will be minus j omega mu into sigma plus j omega epsilon into e bar now if you clearly see this will be equal to zero since a gradient of a divergence of your vector is equal to zero now i can cancel minus on both the sides now it will be del square e equal to j omega mu times of sigma plus j omega epsilon into e bar now if you bring this to the left hand side part and we can assume this as a gamma square which is a new term introduced here called as the propagation constant propagation constant and this is the factor that will decide how the wave propagate and at what rate the wave will propagate that's all for this video and see you in the next one